Well, let's settle now for the news and the controversy about whether there was a police escort with the vehicle that caused the explosion at Apiate in the western region may not end anytime soon, as the chief of Bipo, Nana Atta Brumble, has challenged anyone who has evidence that there was a police escort to show up to be questioned. Speaking during a familiarization visit by the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abujinapo, the chief whose jurisdiction includes Apiate said, it was not true there was a police escort accompanying the vehicle carrying the explosives. Now, the Ghana Police Service insists the vehicle had police protection, with documents suggesting that that was the case. This is Chief of Bipo, Nana Atta Brembo, challenging the claim. <laughs> We are touched by your decision to pay a working visit to Apiati today. We are also grateful for the support we continue to receive from the municipal chief executive of this area. We are told that a committee has been set up to coordinate the receipt of relief items. We plead that government supports this course by making more funds available. There are, however, reports that there was a police escort accompanying the vehicle carrying the explosives before it detonated. That report is false. The accident occurred right here at Apiti, and I dare anyone with a different account to provide evidence to that effect. Well, in his response, the Lands and Natural Resources Minister Samuel Abujinapo urged the residents not to allow anyone to incite them against government. He says the government has more plans to continue with the enormous support it has provided so far and will ensure the reconstruction of their community. First of all, to get a sense of the situation on the ground for purposes of the reconstruction of this community. And as you can see, we've had a very fruitful tour and engagement with the community members. I must report very quickly that it's very uh, refreshing and encouraging that the state housing company seems to have done some considerable work already, including the assembling of inventory of the structures we are dealing with. Essentially, President Akufado is committed that government will take the necessary steps to reconstruct the APAT community. And as you know, yesterday, on its instructions, I launched the APAT Support Fund, which is to raise the requisite resources to support the community members, as well as um, be used for the reconstruction of this community. And therefore, we are very excited to be here, and we've done some very good work. The minister, who is uh, responsible for housing, has had a good sense of what is at stake and from here, we will put in place the necessary framework and mechanism to move forward with the steps towards the reconstruction of this community. What is important, what I have to emphasize, is that government is extremely committed to unleash the necessary responses to this disaster. Because this is a government that is uh, determined to rebuild this community, support the community members, and make sure that the situation here is returned to normal. Now, staying on that matter, at a press briefing, Lands and Natural Resources Minister Samuel Abujinapo said investigations into the matter will be fair and comprehensive. I had a meeting with the chamber, and the chamber brought this matter to my attention. Um, they are, they've since written to my office. It's a very important uh, factor that we have to uh, consider in the decisions we take moving forward. Um, we need to assemble the basic facts before we can take a decision as to whether to lift the ban or not. And the Minerals Commission is engaged in that way. The investigation should be uh, fair, it should be comprehensive, and it should be anchored on integrity. Let's wait for the outcome of the investigations. Let's move away briefly. Now, contractors have resumed construction work on the Isikuma uh, Junction, uh, Hohoi section of the Eastern Corridor Road in the Volta region, following a long break. Greenhouse Construction Limited and Messrs First Sky Limited are rigorously working on the deteriorating stretch to make traveling convenient for motorists. 
The Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Archibald Lecher, as part of his tour of the region, inspected the progress of work. There is more in the following report. The Haveho West Church of the Eastern Corridor Route was awarded to Greenhouse Construction Limited and was expected to be delivered in February 2022. However, construction works are not even 50% completed as of January 2022. The Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Achibod Lecha's disappointment was visible as he inspected the progress of work on the stretch. The Chinese contractor cited delayed payments from the central government as the cause of delay. They, they stop. Now he is saying that he's been paid. So they, they have come. After a few months, we don't see them again. Then they wait again and they are paid again. So my, my, my question is that now that you've been paid, are you going to continue doing the job until it's completed? That's, that's what you are promising. That's what you are promising. Muscle continue. No pay, pay, no pay. Muscle continue to it. Fast. I fast this one. It's a mini. It's a director. I fast the finish this road. So, so what promise can you give the people of, of water region NOT that by this time we should expect to be to be traveling on a, a, a more travel road? Because I came from Hokkaido, and it's not it's, it's not it's not comfortable at all. Maybe August. August. August 2022. August 2022. August 2022. So that's seven months from, 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 from now. Yes. Okay. So when we, we pay you some money, you also bring some dollar from China mm. to add to it. You complete it, then we pay you. Yes. <laughs> Messiah's first sky limited is busily working on the 39 kilometers as the Mansion Crevice stretch, which was re-awarded in August 2021. Over 30% of work has been done, with the construction firm hoping to deliver before the September 2023 schedule. The Chief Executive Officer of Fed Sky Construction Limited, Oliver Aqua Techi, explained the scope of work. You know, from uh, a session where the asphalt currently laid ends to the extreme end, which is the uh, Peve Township, is where we are currently working to bring it up to the asphalt layer. What we have here, we did some remedial works so that it will be more trouble. Because we realized that there were a lot of accidents due to the portals that has been developed. So we patched those portals so that we make it more trouble. We'll bring that other section to the asphalt layer. Then we mill this face from kilometer zero to kilometer 28 and then reproduce a fresh asphalt and relay it. Uh, they're going to finish one side of the one, <laughs> one side, uh, shift the, the traffic onto that one, and then before the, the second one is done. So, so we are happy uh, that first guy is doing a good job, and, and we pray that they continue to do, to, to, to do so. Said Kwame Asai, join me. Now, moving from that stretch of road, the National Association of Institutional uh, Suppliers is demanding a 40% upward adjustment of food supplies to senior high schools in the country. National Vice Chairman Dr. George J. Henne notes prices of supplied items have remained the same for the past seven years. He is worried about the adverse effect on their businesses. Lava Femme's Kwesi Debra has more in this report. Dr. George J. Hine is worried about the adverse impact on their businesses. He revealed calls to the Education Ministry have yielded no results. He also bemoaned the non payment of arrears since June. Uh, okay. He revealed suppliers still have uh, stock of exercise books, house jerseys, and school clothes since the government uh, okay. has supplies of these items in the advent of the CSHS. Uh, Dr. J. Hine spoke at the maiden annual national conference of the association in Kumasi. Uh, what exactly we want the government to do is that uh, since 2016 that the current prices that we are operating with was uh, implemented there hasn't been any adjustment so we are running at the loss but um, the inputs all the materials that we are using equipment have all gone up and uh, there's the need for us to have some adjustment. So we are commending that the government you know, adjust the, the, the current price by at least 40%, so that at least we can um, uh, 
operate effectively so that at least we can run our businesses successfully. Some of the affected persons spoke to Joy News. Yeah, the situation has affected me as in the production has been cut off. And at the same time, the, the books that we, are, we normally do, we do customize them. And now it has been, like, they, we do, they do them, they are doing it in a way, it is just one-sided one books that they are doing. It's no more customized. So since they started that, they are using, let, let's say, national tender. We've tendered four times. We couldn't win any contract. So based on that, we are out of business. If it were to be all like before, you tender the schools. So you are, it's between you and the headmaster. But now it's not like that. They've generalized the whole thing. So you tender, after that four times, you tender, you not get a job. You not get a job, and they will not tell you why you didn't even get a job. And the normal that they're supposed to write to us. Due to this and that, that's why you didn't get the contract. That is the law. But you know Ghana, anything that will favor whoever is in charge, that's what they do. So we don't even get the, the feedback why, as why you didn't win the contract. So maybe you improve upon that the next time. Well, that's it for the AM News, but we have a lot more topic issues to discuss as we delve into the news review. Do stay with us later on when we get into the big stories. A lot more to talk about. We'll be back.